to the moon. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol VACQ, which is Vector Acquisition. This is a Spark or what you call a blank check company that is actually merging with Rocket Lab to take them public. So that's something that I want to cover in this video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, again, this is news that just uh, recently came out. Let me bring this here so you guys can see. So Rocket Lab is actually right now in, in negotiations with uh, Vector uh acquisition to take them that would take them public and the value of that merger would put the company at a 4.1 uh billion billion dollar valuation so i mean they, it looks like the deal is actually now gone through uh, as far as talking to merge it's actually gone through so just to give you guys some quick updates here or what's going to happen here and some timeline so right now um the company is actually we're going to be trading on that ticket symbol VACQ. So that's going to be vector acquisition. But as soon as the merge is over, they're going to have to change that ticket symbol from a VACQ to ROKLB. I'm going to repeat that again, ROKLB. That would be the new ticker symbol uh, moving forward. And then the merger is expected to be completed, uh, I think, by the end of Q2 2021. So just to give you guys some, some information there. Um, now that we got that out of the way, let's go and talk a little bit about uh, Rocket Lab. So what is Rocket Lab? What did they do? Um, right now, this is a company that actually provides a service of sending satellites to space. The thing that I like about the company is that they are kind of a medium size. So you have like NASA that does like these massive rocket launches. You have a company like SpaceX that does kind of the large launches and then uh, rocket lab comes in and do the smaller and then now they're actually working in into starting getting into the uh, medium or mid-range um rocket launches that would bring satellites up in space so i, I think uh, from a market perspective they have a specific niche so if you've, you're not looking to launch a massive rocket or your satellite is not that big Obviously, if you go to SpaceX or you go to any of the, of the biggest, big guys, they're going to charge you a lot of money and you, there's going to be a lot of wait time because you have to go when they are launching. But you can go to a small company like, like Rocket Lab and they would launch your, your satellite straight into orbit for you and there's no wait time. Uh, based on the research I've been doing, wait times have gone from like four months to at least two years uh, for smaller companies that are looking to send their satellite up to to space when they have to wait for bigger companies like uh, SpaceX to launch. So this is definitely an area where um, smaller companies are going to benefit from. So that is something that I really want to put out there. So right now, they do have uh, their main uh, launcher is called the Electron. So that is the one that they currently have now in the market. So if you can see here, they have Electron, which is the smallest lift that you can see. And then they're working on the neutron, which is going to be their medium lift. So somewhere between like half of what uh, SpaceX would carry uh, to the, the space. So if you see right now, the SpaceX Falcon 9, it's a, a very big rocket. If you can see in this image here, uh, if you see what neutron is going to look like, it's going to be half of what Falcon 9 is going to be. So what the advantage here is that it reduces the cost of that launch. It reduces the cost for the customer, the people that want to send their, their satellite up in space. So again, to me, that is uh, a step uh, forward. If we can switch here and just look at the way they compare to their competitors. So you can take, for instance, like SpaceX. If you see right here, uh, Rocket Lab successfully uh, successful orbiter launches. They've done 16. If you look at their satellite delivery in orbit, nine is seven. And then their capital raise to date is only 275 million. In-house satellite program, they have that. They have turn around and look at a company like Virgin Orbit. They've only successfully uh, launched one. And then their satellite delivery to orbit nine compared to uh, 97 for Rocket Lab. And then look at how much they've raised. 
they've raised a billion dollars. So way more money than Rocket Lab, but Rocket Lab has done a lot more work, a lot more projects, a lot more experience than Virgin Orbit, which is kind of crazy. So, and if you look at the other ones like Firefly, Relativity, and then Astra, and again, guys, I'm probably going to do a separate video on Astra because Astra also just announced that they were going to go public. So I might do a separate video on Astra or maybe just do a combination of my top five um, space or, uh, you know, yeah, or top five space um, stocks. So I'm probably going to do that. So Astra is on this list. But if you see, they haven't done anything yet. No launches yet, no satellite in orbit, nothing compared to Rocket Lab. So right now, that's why, I mean, I actually bought Astra, um, Astra as well but because they're going a public through another merger too with Holicity. Again, that's a conversation for another day. I don't want to confuse that with what we have going on here. But wh what I'm just trying to say is that Rocket Lab has done a lot more to prove that they are a solid company compared to their competition. So that's why I wanted to bring this up. So if you can see here again, this is a list of their customers. You can see NASA is like the number one. They've done two missions for NASA. So you can see up there. And the reason why I'm saying like the number one is because, I mean, if you think about NASA, the company for how big NASA is, the fact that NASA is going and using these guys to me, that tells me that they have a reputation. NASA would not trust any company with their missions if they didn't think that the company was capable and has the technology and the manpower to manage that. So they've done two successful missions with NASA. And they can see here like Spacefly, they have four missions. And then if you can go to like Planet, if you just go through here, three missions, just go through this list, you'll see that they have successfully completed a ton of other missions. So that's one of the things that I see these guys um, really being a, a force to reckon with when it comes to um, space and, and again, putting satellites in outer space. So that's why I really trust these guys. Um, again, they, they're talking about their new rocket, which is going to be the neutron, as you can see here. So the neutron, that's the, this, that medium level that, I, that, that they're going to use these funds that they're going to get from this merger to really push that program forward and start using that and start uh, running some missions with that program. Again, as you can see, they're not in the direct competition with uh, with SpaceX because SpaceX does more of the bigger load and then SpaceX can do less than less than full load because they take uh, rockets from because they take their, their satellites from different people. But these guys, they go and just do the smaller ones. So again, if you look in terms of logistics, you have your big companies like um, FedEx, you get UPS and then in between that you have smaller uh, companies that do the same logistics like Speedy, which is, again, taking a little bit of business from those guys, but yet there's a niche for that. So that's what I see with Rocket Lab. So I'm definitely uh, really interested in this one. If you can see here, one of their major backer, again, is Lockheed Martin, which is awesome. The fact that, I mean, this is, again, one of the top defense uh, uh, contract uh, companies that we have here in the United States. The fact that you're doing business with them. Um, and they do a lot of business with, with the government and private entities. So it's a good company to be associated with. So again, like I said, they've actually, they have a total of 97 satellites in orbit right now from government and private companies. And this is, I mean, you can see that they, they're quoting this from the Wall Street Journal. And I looked at this company and I see that this is the future where they're going and the work that they're doing. I, I got super excited. I bought shares of this. Um, so again, you have to do your own research to see that this is something that you want to do. So as of right now, the company has um, locations here in the United States and in New Zealand. So one of their, their launch site is actually based out of New Zealand, and then they have one in Virginia here in the United States. So again, just that a diversification. If there's an issue in North America, weather is so terrible, they can launch out of uh, New Zealand, which is probably going to be a better situation for them. Or if things are not working in New Zealand in terms of weather or whatever, they can launch um, here in the United States. So I like the fact that they're not just concentrated in one particular area like uh, SpaceX has right now in the United States. So to me, that's just an opportunity, again, to make sure that your customers are happy once you have stuff going on. So that's what I wanted to cover uh, in this particular one, guys. Again, the ticket symbol right now is VACQ. That is the ticket symbol. And as I was doing recording this video, 
Um, the stock currently sits somewhere at about $14.40. I got this one just over um, $11, I think. Um, let me see if I can go back here. Yeah, so I got this one just uh, over after eleven dollars, somewhere somewhere around here. Um, again, this a tremendous amount of opportunity here. Uh, long term, I see this thing running up to forty, fifty, sixty dollars. So that's why I wanted to get in early before it, it, it takes off running. I mean, right now you see when they made the announcement, is there was a huge squeeze um, just to go to a high of about fourteen dollars and eighty six cents, and then kind of pull back a little bit. If if you want to get into this one again, guys, you know my strategy. I don't want you to just jump in. If you want to buy, even if it's just ten shares, don't jump in and just buy ten. Give yourself an opportunity to average in. Uh, buy five and see which direction the stock is moving, and then buy more. And in some cases, if we've even seen when uh, when we see uh, the companies actually f um, complete their merger, the, the stock price will take a beating, probably pull back. But this one. I, I really doubt it. If if it gets up to that twenty twenty five price uh, before the merger completes, even if the merger completes, I don't see it pulling back all the way back to like at least thirteen or twelve dollars. So this to me, this would be a good spot for you to start studying. And I want to diversify my portfolio because we're seeing more and more that um, this outer space is the way to go. Exploring the outer space is the way to go. And then uh, Kathy Wood with our uh, Invest. They also are studying a, a space ETF. So if they can actually add a company like Rocket Lab to their space ETF, trust me, this stock is just going to go 10x or even 20x. So that's something that you want to keep in mind. So that's, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know again in the comment section what you think about this. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.